what is the number one ingredient to be successful in life? When we look at it from a little more uh, of a distance, you can see that there have been a lot of studies around it. The number one ingredient to be successful in life, it's, I talk about the brain, I love the brain, and yet it is not IQ. IQ has very little to do with success. Now, success, let's define success, right? Uh, I mean, success can be anything. Success can be success in, in, in business, as all of you have been, uh, or I can imagine, or most of you have been very successful in business, but let's talk about success like, uh, successful in, 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 in your uh, personal life, you know, success in your relationship with your partner, uh, success in sports, maybe, well, just like Declan, you were able to, to, to run, uh, do triathlons or, or, or Ironman, etc. It can be uh, success in all, any aspect of life. What is the number one ingredient? And, well, obviously, and you will see throughout the day, every single person talking here today, it will point to that same ingredient. And that one is grit. Uh, who here has heard about Angela Duckworth? Angela, yeah, a couple of people. Angela Duckworth has written the ultimate book about grit. So I highly recommend that. Um, grit is what? It's perseverance, it's endurance, right? It's, it's the will to go on. It's like that song, it's an old song, it goes like, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. That's, that's like back in the 80s. My references are way too old, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I have to get new ones. Uh, so the, that is the number one. How do you get there? Because grit is actually something you can develop and something you can work on. You start little, uh, you start small. Declan said you, you, he started by walking before running, right? Well, we actually all do when we're babies. Anyway, um, it's, it's by little step and working on it. I, I throw challenges to myself all the time just to make sure that uh, you, you work on that. It's, uh, it can be developed. However, in order to be able to do that, there's something that comes before it, and that is mindsets. Declan already talked about it, and uh, who here uh, is familiar with the word of Carol Dweck. Carol Dweck? No? Talking about mindsets and nobody knows Carol Dweck. She is the ultimate uh, reference regarding mindsets. She wrote a book and did a lot of research regarding fixed and growth mindset. So a fixed mindset basically is when you think that everything is fixed. You have your uh, you have your, uh, you're talented and, and, and you're good at mathematics, for example. And, uh, and growth mindset is, well, uh, well, so the fixed mindset is you're good at, good at mathematics and that's just like that uh, and, and, and that doesn't change. While the growth mindset is you have this firm belief that yes, you can develop your skills, your, your talents, your, your knowledge, etc., and you can grow. Now, the whole challenge with the fixed and growth mindset is that with fixed mindset, you start, you start um, being careful about that, that understanding of yourself. You look at yourself as being talented and being good at maths, but then just to make sure that understanding of yourself, that view, that image of yourself doesn't get um, challenged or do, do, doesn't get in danger, you avoid putting yourself into a dangerous situation, into a dangerous position. Because if you go and do that mathematical genius challenge with 100 other geniuses around the world, it might turn out that you are not one of the great minds in, in mathematics that you thought you were. You might end up being the last one. And then that means that well, basically, your whole world will crumble down and you're not as good as you think. And, and that is extremely, um, that is, that is, that is uh, it's a great threat for your ego, basically, when, when you are in a situation like that. So fixed mindset, the problem with a fixed mindset is that you stop trying, you stop trying to grow and develop yourself because you're actually putting yourself in dangerous situation when you do so because it might turn out you are not as good as you thought. Whilst in the growth mindset, well, if you fall, it's not a problem because that's part of the process. You're supposed to learn, you're supposed to grow, you're supposed to make errors because then you can learn out of them and get better at it. 
So it's a whole process where you grow. Um, especially regarding uh, education of the kids, this is it's, it's quite important. Anybody has kids? I can only imagine. There you go. Um, at any age, this difference between growth mindset and fixed mindset is vital. Um, look, we all know successful people in the world uh, and personally. Now, fixed mindset is really based on talent, the idea that we have talent and we're good at it. Me personally, I don't know a single person who's talented and who hasn't worked their butt off to get where they are. Talent is, is so overrated. Of course, talent will help you to kickstart something and to give you maybe the taste of something. But after that, it's hard work. It's that grit. It's being able to put the effort and, and go the extra mile because uh, and, and that is not possible if you, if, if you limit yourself only at talent. Talent without hard work is just potential. Um, my son is potentially the uh, next president of Europe. That doesn't mean squats, right? I mean, it's only potential. It's nothing. By the way, he's 12 and no pressure. So, so the thing is, you, um, the thing is with, with, uh, with uh, with this mindset, especially towards kids, um, do not make sure you do not put them in a situation where they are comfortable. They feel like, yeah, yeah I'm good at this or I'm good at that. Because then they might just sabotage themselves because, uh, just to avoid putting themselves into, into this dangerous position of challenging my idea of myself of being good at this or that. Especially kids, their prefrontal brain is, is not yet fully developed. And it, Okay, pre sorry. Prefrontal brain is the part behind the, 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 the yeah, prefrontal is right here. It's the last part to mature in our, in our brain. And, and it's, um, it's the one that helps us give perspective to, uh, to, 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 to problem solving, to, to, to have more advanced cognitive skills, etc. So that part of the brain is not yet fully developed with kids. And, and for them, they, they will their main objective is to please their parents and, and put that into danger by failing at whatever they're good at can be very uh, confronting and, and, and well, um, basically take away their self-confidence. Um, so, so growth mindset, always, um, yeah, always praise the effort. Actually, I've completely stopped, uh, a couple of years ago, I completely stopped, um, completely changed my way of looking at how my kids were doing at school. Before that, they were always, uh, they were coming home with good grades, etc., and that was fine, and from time to time there were bad grades. And I, I tended to get angry, because when I was a kid, my parents got angry at me when I was. We, we tend to repeat things generation over generation over generation, or we do exactly the same, or we do the exact opposite. It's just built in ourselves. Anyway, so, I, I was doing this and like getting angry, putting a little pressure. Yeah, you know, she should work harder, etc., etc. And then I, I met the work of, uh, I started reading about mindsets and about grit, etc. And I realized that only looking at the end goal, at the, at the result, wasn't, wasn't fair. Uh, an exam f failing or, or, or getting a good grade at an exam is basically, it's like taking a picture. You can have a funny face on the picture. It doesn't mean that in life, every day of your life, you have a funny face. It's just that very moment. Well, uh, passing an exam or failing at an exam is exactly the same. So uh, I decided to, to go the, the, the complete opposite way. So I went like, you know what, from now onwards, um, I want you to work hard on your exam, on your preparation. And then afterwards, if, if you did work hard, you can fail for me, there's absolutely no problem. Problem with that is I, I, didn't, I didn't have this conversation before with my wife. <laughs> so I was saying that at the dinner table and she was looking at me, she went like, <laughs> what are you doing? I said, trust me on this one. Uh, it was, that was actually right before the exams, so she got really nervous. She was like, and now they will fail their exams before because of you. That's on you. We're like, no, 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 no. Let's, let's try this. Yeah, you should have talked about this. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Anyway, turned out their exams were, um, were not, actually, they weren't better, but they weren't worse either. 
they were just the same. And I went like, okay, so good, whatever. It, 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 apparently, it doesn't have a real impact. However, what I, what, a couple of months later, what my son told me, he came to me and he said like, you know what, since you did this whole new thing about effort and, and, and not exams, I'm going into an exam and I'm not stressed anymore. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's so much easier for me now to, to focus and to get results because I don't care if I fail or not. I know that I won't get in trouble with you. When you're 10 or 12, you don't care about good grace. You just don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Staying safe, remember, uh, and avoiding danger. So, so, so that was great. And ever since, um, ever since, I've seen their grades improve sm slowly over time. And, and uh, my, 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 well, my kids are doing great. But I, I just, of course, that's not a scientific study about the brain. But it's, it's just to tell you how... Uh, changing the way you approach children and challenges and looking at um, obstacles that might come your way can change everything, especially based on this fixed mindset and growth mindset. Sharpen your mind.